Hello crypto cowboys and cowgirls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emeka and in this video we're going to look back at some of the top performing investment opportunities of 2019. Now many of you follow me because of my cryptocurrency videos. 2017 I started making cryptocurrency videos during the heyday of Bitcoin. And back then I made a video showing you what would happen if you invested just $500 in a few of the cryptocurrencies. If you want to watch that whole video, there will be a link in the description below. Now today you're not really going to see returns like that, but the cryptocurrency market still gives you pretty good returns. But I'm not all about putting all my eggs in one basket. A good investor diversifies their portfolio, and what that means is they invest in many different asset classes that have uh, that are negatively correlated to each other. So if one market is doing well at one time, the other one isn't doing well, you don't lose money and you could potentially gain. So in this video, I'm going to show you some other asset cl classes other than cryptocurrencies, and in this series, we're going to get deep into how you invest in all these different asset classes and what kind of returns you can expect to get. Today, we're going to look into cash, fixed income, equities, futures, index funds. These are all viable investment opportunities that give you decent returns, better than keeping your money in the bank. And we're going to look at some of the top performing ones this year so we can give you a better idea of where you should be putting your money come 2020. Now, the first asset class we're going to look at is cash. We're talking things like certificates of deposit, savings accounts, you know, things like that. Essentially, these are places where you invest your money and you know ahead of time what your interest rate of return will be. I looked at some of the best rates you can get in savings accounts on the internet and I found that uh, CIT Bank gives you a savings rate of 2.2%. So what that means is if you put $5,000 of your money, by the end of the year, you would have 5,100. So pretty horrible not great but it's better than keeping your money just sitting in your bank doing nothing right now a certificate of deposit is also a cash asset class similar to savings account except it's a timed deposit you put your money in a cd for a certain period of time and you might get a slightly higher rate of return in this case i found one with goldman sachs they're offering as high as 2.25 percent and so that would run you to a return by the end of the year of around five thousand one hundred and thirteen dollars so this gives you an idea of the cash asset class. Low risk, but low return. So the next thing we're gonna look at is a mutual fund. A mutual fund is a professionally managed fund. They pool funds from different people and invest them in a pool of assets. When you invest in a mutual fund, you don't want to have to worry about watching the market. There are professionals in the background doing it for you. They're buying trades and selling trades and uh, getting you in and out of markets in order to get the maximum return. Now I looked at some uh, uh, good performing equity mutual funds in 2019 and uh, uh, T. Rowe Price Tax Efficient Equity Fund uh, had a return of 25%. So what that means if, if you invested $5,000 of your money uh, in uh, January of the year, by September you would have made $6,200. So that's a lot better than investing in savings account, right? You put your money in a mutual fund, you make over $1,000 over the year. So 25% of returning your money is not bad. Now an index fund is a kind of mutual fund that tracks one of the indices like the S&P 500. Now most people invest in index funds because they want to get the same wide market exposure that they get with professionally managed future funds, but with lower fees. Now I did a scan of the market out there and I found a few large cap index funds. Um, one was from Fidelity and one was from Vanguard. Uh, the one from Fidelity uh, returned 20.74% this year. So if you invested 5,000 of your money at the beginning of this year in a large cap index fund with Fidelity, you would have made $6,000. So once again, better than cash. Um, that's a, not a bad investment to put your money in. The next asset class we're gonna look at is foreign exchange. Very liquid market, um, very volatile market. Um, I had kind of trouble kind of nailing down a very good, uh, some of the very good investment opportunities, but I used to be an FX trader actually in the past, and I know that uh, you can make a lot of money in the FX market. 
you could also lose a lot of money in the FX market. <laughs> um, so I saw a few <clears throat> good returns. Uh, if you invested in the dollar, uh, if you invested in the Brazilian real this year, uh, you would have gotten a 28% return on your money because the, it moved uh, from 3.8 up to 4.15 uh, from January to September. So that would have given you a $5,000 investment in the Brazilian real would have given you $6,300. So <clears throat> there you go. So we've looked at cash, we've looked at index and mutual funds, we've looked at the foreign exchange market. So the next asset class I wanna look at is the equity market, stocks. Investing in stocks is uh, always a very good thing to do. It's a lot less risky than investing in FX, I can tell you that, definitely a lot less risky than investing in cryptocurrencies. And the returns can be very decent. Looking at 2019, I found some very good returns in the stock market. You know, we've been looking at the cryptocurrency market on this channel, but don't sleep on the stock market. Individual equities, not mutual funds, uh, not FX, individual equities can give you some pretty good returns. Uh, Chipotle, CMG. Uh, if you invested in Chipotle this year, you would have made 90% on your money. That means if you invested $5,000 in Chipotle at the beginning of the year, you'd have had $9,400 by September. 90% return on your money. That is pretty damn good. Once again, we're going to go deeper into a lot of these investment uh, assets in future videos, but I just want to give you an overview of what we're seeing here. And the, and, and another thing to mention when it comes to equities, there are some equities that actually pay dividends. So not only do you make money from investing in the stock and the stock price rising, but some of these stocks, they actually share out the profits to the shareholders. And, the, and that's what's called dividends. So if you buy a stock and you hold it, you could just keep holding it and you'll be receiving dividends on that stock. So that's an additional cash flow that you could be receiving with stocks that you don't necessarily get with other asset classes. So we've looked at all these asset classes and we can see that there's some pretty decent returns. We looked at cash, index funds, FX, commodity, mutual funds, and stocks. Highest returns we got were from individual stocks. We're talking Chipotle would have given you 90% return on your money. That's an extra $4,000 if you invested $5,000. Uh, you know, Palladium Futures was pretty good this year. Um, index funds is always a safe bet for you. Now, I know many of you are here because of cryptocurrency, so let's just look at uh, what cryptocurrency looked like this year. If you invested $500 in Bitcoin in January of this year, what would it have been in September 30th of this year? So let's look at cryptocurrency. So a $5,000 investment in Bitcoin would have given you $10,499 by September. That's 110% return on your money. I mean, what can I say? Bitcoin is still a very attractive investment opportunity. I know a lot of people out there are saying it's not a real company. It's not real. It's like fake money, but it's a real investment. Those are real returns, 110% on your money. And Bitcoin is actually the most secure cryptocurrency in the market, 110% on your money. So. There is no way I'm going to talk about uh, diversifying your portfolio and not mention cryptocurrencies. When you're diversifying your portfolio, you should also think about cryptocurrencies as one of the asset classes to invest in. So the moral of the story is diversify your portfolio, find new places to invest, and let's continue to make money. Thanks for watching. My name is Emeka. See you next time.